things with every frame, Steve. I think you can start to understand why players with big leads sometimes lose them. Right? You know, the guy looking over his shoulder mm. in the end, all of a sudden Ronnie waiting for the guy to catch up if he's not careful. And so being mentally positive and getting the balance between trying and relaxing is a very big part of this game. Well, just as it was last evening, this last frame of the session is a highly significant potentially. Okay, and all them world champions talking about twitchy frames. <laughs> We've all had a few of those here at the Crucible. Yeah, we certainly have. And well, that's what makes this championship and this tier is so special. I think this is a massive frame. Particularly for Ali Carter. If he pulls it back to 14 and 11, well. Even though the session would have been shared four frames each, Ali Carter would have felt, or would feel, that he would have won the session, particularly after the manner in which he lost those first four frames. So huge frame for both players here. Five on a miss. Ronnie O'Sullivan, six. And of course it's interesting then is what the guys were saying, the pressure does revert back, Ali Carter came Can out down, after those four loud. frames, probably feeling well, I've got nothing to lose, Sullivan's on fire, there's not much I can deal with, he's come out with a bit more of a carefree attitude and all of a sudden now he's back in the match. Yeah, I'll just take a few seconds to get these balls back in the exact position. It just seemed to get a bounce off that side cushion. Maybe he got a little bit of side that took him to the pink. Can put it up there, yeah, they can put it up on the monitor for Michaela. We'll just have a look at it. That's what they are looking at. And they read this way. Yeah, it's just down half a ball, isn't it? Not a bit more. It's funny, Ronnie's helping out there, <laughs> but you're not allowed to touch the ball. <laughs> it's in the rules. You know, the player can't put his. Are you allowed to touch the ball with a cue, Ken? <laughs> Wouldn't have thought so. I don't think he's allowed to touch the ball at all, but he's definitely allowed. Is that red know. right then? Because Ronnie thinks it was. No, no, this red went past that red, but not into the pocket. He thinks the red was open. I think that's what Ronnie is saying. Past this red into the pocket, but not past that red. Oh, Ronnie right, saying that the red was possibly be able to pass the the pyramid of reds. Well, let's have a look where the, that's where they were. Let's have a look now. I think the pink and red need to go just a little bit. Yeah, I think they need to go a little bit further up the table, don't they? I think the red is in line with the pink spot, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, it shows that Ronnie's been concentrating and he knows exactly where they were. Yeah. That's about yeah. spot on. <laughs> Just a readjustment. Oh, yeah, well, he, yeah, he's putting himself at a disadvantage because where the white is, he could play a safety Leo? shot that wasn't available to him. Aye. Yeah, we're very, okay. very proud of our sport that uh, the players, you know, own up to their fouls and the put themselves at a disadvantage, they, they never take advantage of a situation, great to see. Doesn't have to play the same shot again, he's choosing a different escape. Great sportsmanship there. Didn't used to be like that when you played in the old billiard hall. I used to play with a fella who could miss cue on purpose. That was a bit of a skill.
should be okay. You can see the edge of this red just to come back down the table off it. The red will head over towards that red and black. Another first-class safety shot from Ronnie O'Sullivan. Can Ali return the compliment? He can play thin off the red. That's just to the right of the pink. Got to be careful. Could easily wobble. And the jaws of the pocket are go in. Has to hit it thin. Well, and he didn't hit it then, and the in-off was okay until that red's come over the corner pocket. Yeah, it was a tough shot, wasn't it? Now, half a chance for Ronnie. Okay, black is tied up, but certainly won't be trying to get up, bring the black into play here, trying to get up for pink or blue. Plenty of reds in the open as well, so but he hasn't queued particularly well in the last couple of Particularly his long pots. You see, sixty-eight percent long pot success, fifty-eight percent card there. Well, that's better. Yeah, nicely on the ball. Excellent One. shot. Just ran on a little bit more than he would have liked, so may have to take the blue on. See the long putt again. May have to take the blue and go into the pack again just to hold the cue ball. Oh, doesn't want the red. Oh, that was close. Just thinking he may have covered everything, you know. Six. They all seem to be blocking each other. And there you can see the outcome. And it's not easy to plant that one into the pocket because it's quite a way from that corner pocket, it's not right over it. Is there a half a pocket there? That's all he needed. What a shot that was. Well, Ronnie Jr. enjoyed that. I mean, our camera showed you there, there was very little room past that red. What judgment that was. Thirteen. This would be typical Ronnie O'Sullivan. Lost the last two frames with a hundred and five from Ali Carter and then a fifty three. Be typical Ronnie if he knocks in a big break here. He's done it throughout the championship. As soon as someone asked him a question, Ken, he, he's come up with the answers, hasn't he? Yeah, it? this is where he's at its 19. best. Just in around the pink and black, just playing little soft screws and 20. little stun shots. And just watch the cue ball the way he'll have it almost on a string. He's so good in around the pink and black. Twenty-six. Twenty-seven. It's wonderful, crucible theater. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. You'd love to get that red away from this bottom right-hand corner pocket. It's just...
locking things up a little bit. It's just the five reds around the black. He's just checking to see if one of them might be available. If not, he's got a few more easy reds. He's using this one here. It's a big pocket. The one you said, get it away and it'll clear the pocket for later on. Still in the 90s. 40. 91 of this pot success rate. Ali Carter getting closer to that 90%. And there's nothing to pick between them in the tournament pot success rate, just 1%. Just gone slightly awry. I play this left handed. Just about reach it. just going to say that that was Ali's possibly only chance of maybe getting back to the table here. Yeah, sure. Just spotted something on the cue ball. Well, we thought we were in for a bit of a twitchy last frame, but I suppose if there's one player in the game, Ken, that <laughs> doesn't twitch, it's uh, the man at the table at the moment. He certainly knows how to close frames and matches out. Doesn't even twitch with his left hand. <laughs> he makes it look so easy, doesn't he? You know, people are so used to him playing with the left hand. 53. 63 ahead, so red colour. And he won't need any of those. 54. Red colour, red, and he won't need any of those five reds that are all blocking each other. Stun the pink in, try and get onto this red. Need a left hand side cushion, just get in behind it and have it into the opposite middle or into the corner pocket. 60. So this red to have a five frame lead going into the final session. <laughs> Excellent stuff from Ronnie O'Sullivan. <laughs> I think Ronnie Jr. was just saying to his good friend John there, is, is that enough? <laughs> He's probably just a little bit too young to reckon the scores up. The plant. 64. No. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 64. 